you get me. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Larry O, back at it again in the studio. And today, I got a request on Instagram from someone that wants a beat producer tag. So he sent me the details of what he wanted. He wanted me to use my own voice. Like, I don't do too many of these, but when I get hit up for them, I do them. A lot of people say, like, I have a good voice for it. So I don't know. We're going to try it out and see what we come up with. I'm going to show you guys what he wants for the details. I'm going to record it on my microphone right back here. And then we're going to go into FL Studio, edit a few different versions of each one because he wants two different style beat tags and we're gonna see what we come up with don't forget to like subscribe comment down below if you get me all right so real quick before i get started what i'm gonna do is set up the session in fl studio to get ready to record i'm gonna show you guys that real quick go to options up in the top left here go to audio settings make sure that you have your device set to your recording device so in this case mine is the personas fire studio project that is this device right here we're gonna get ready to record make sure you have that selected then you can just go to any insert that you have in your mixer it doesn't even matter which one go to the input section which is over here on the right side then you can just choose the microphone that you want to use i don't use anything in this stereo section because you want to record into mono the microphone slot that i have my microphone plugged into is five for whatever reason i don't know why i chose five but it is so i'm gonna choose five so we're gonna set our levels got the slate digital vms one preamp right here shout out to the homies at slate digital for sending this over amazing piece of gear and equipment right here so i'm gonna finish getting this set up everything looks like it's good microphone is working thing we're gonna do look Look at the email that this dude sent over and we're gonna see exactly what he wants me to say microphones working we can see the level hopping around that's good to go so all you do to get this set up and ready to record first before we go look at that email is make sure you go up into this left top up here go to the record button and make sure that you have it set to audio and we're gonna go and turn automation off so that way if you tweak any knobs or anything while it's recording it won't record any random shit audio set to record right now I'm gonna show you guys what the email says right here Because I'm doing this by myself, I'm gonna hit record on FL Studio and then just like go over to the mic and record a bunch of different ones and we'll just choose the best ones afterwards to edit. My record button is set and armed. Then I just hit the space bar. Now it's recording audio. Everything is set. My levels were already set to begin with. Now we can hop over to the microphone. So the first one is A hey Mama, that's Kid Fresh. A hey Mama, that's Kid Fresh. A hey Mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey Mama. That's kid fresh. Hey, mama. That's kid fresh. Hey, mama. That's kid fresh. The other one is kid fresh got another one. Kid fresh got another one. Kid fresh got another one. Hey, kid fresh got another one. Out of those, I should be able to choose my favorite ones. And then I'm probably going to do like two edits on each version that I find to be the best. We're going to hop right back into FL Studio and hit stop on that. As you can see, we got all this dead space over here. We can just kind of trim all of that off all this dead space at the end. We can trim all of that out of there. We can turn the record button off. So now we can go into this audio. Let's normalize it and let's just listen to the dry audio by itself and we can find the best takes and here's the first phrase that i said hey mama that's kid fresh 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 i think i like the last one the best maybe we can double it with this take right here it might give it that flavor even though they're two kind of different ways that i said it i can kind of line these guys up here let's do this first take this one trim that Let's make both of these unique. When we go to do something to one, it doesn't do it to the other one. All right, so now that those are unique, we can turn generic bleeding on both of these guys. So that way we can get those clean cross fades. And then you can do some like chopping up to line these guys up right here. And these are gonna be slightly different because they're two different takes, but it might sound cool once they're played together. So let's listen to that. Hey, hey mama, mama, that's, that's kid, kid fresh. fresh pretty cool so what we can do is send that to a mixer track that one to another mixer track and i'm gonna load up my vocal bus that i use all the time my vocal chain it's like a preset of like stock and third party plugins and then i'm gonna dock it to the left i'm gonna take these two tracks and route them to that bus turn that off and then just listen to that and see if we need to adjust any of the mixing settings which i'm gonna turn the volume down on these guys on the main samples that way they don't clip hey mama that's kid fresh
Another thing that I'm gonna do here is create like a little bus to have these two go into. So that way, if I'm gonna put a reverb or anything on them, I don't have to put two different reverbs. They can both have the same reverb or whatever effects that I want them to have that are the same exact thing. We can put it on that bus right there. Route that bus to the vocal chain. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama. Then you can kind of offset these to give it a little bit of a cool dynamic. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Let's try messing with the pitch. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. That might be too much. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama. And if you saw my other video about making beat tags, you saw that I only like to put reverb on these because I'll leave it up to the producer or the artist that has these tags to use a delay because sometimes they want them to be like on tempo with the rest of the song. So you can take it from there basically and time stretch it and then put your own delay and echo on there. So I just like to do a reverb just to give it some sort of effect. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Let's try a chorus effect right here, maybe. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Gives it a little bit of a detune, that's kinda cool. Let's pull back on the mix knob. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Let's make some sort of like reverse reverb effect. We're gonna add another reverb here. I'm gonna blast it out, high all the way up, K all the way up, wet, stereo separation. Put Edison on here. Real quick, make sure that we're lined up. Just hit play. Hey. Making it stop. That's gonna be a nice long tail right there. You can delete the old two chops right there. Bring that in, open that one up, reverse it, normalize it, trim it, mess around with the in fade. And then the starting point, you can mess around with that too. Have it like right about there. Mess around with the in fade a little bit more. Actually, let's take the trim off. Mess around with that in fade again. Turn these two off. Hey, mama. Hey mama. Then you can go and put an EQ on that reverse reverb. Hey mama. Hey. Let's put some sort of effect on that reverse reverb. Panomatic. Put it on volume. And then you can put this like speed. Put this amount all the way up. Hey mama. You can mess around with the wave. Hey. And then you can automate this speed knob right here. And you can kind of just do random stuff with it. Hey mama. Hey mama, that's Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Let's go listen to the other ones. Kid Fresh got another one. Kid Fresh got another one. Kid Fresh got another one. Hey, Kid Fresh got another one. Yeah, let's take these first two and we can do the same thing that we did before. But I like these first two the best. Let's make these unique, make that unique generic bleeding on normalize it we can send that to the same two mixer tracks also and kind of like just chop this up and make sure it lines up with the other tape do some manual lining up now let's listen to that and see what that sounds like you know what i might want to do with this one let's try panning one all the way to the left and one all the way to the right kid fresh got another one i like that Let's maybe not try all the way. Let's try like 48, 48. Kid Fresh got another one. Let's try some sort of glitch with the K in kid. So what we can do is find the best part to like stutter. Kid, kid Fresh. What I want to do here too is like record that. So that way both of those layers are just in one and then I'll stutter that one. That's all I want, just like that one by itself, so that way it's both layers, and we're gonna stutter both layers in one, if that makes sense. So that way you don't have to like do all the effects to both of those layers, you have them in one little take right here. You turn the generic bleeding on, and we can send that to mixer track number one. Kid Fresh, Fresh got another one. Kid Fresh. Stutters can be tricky sometimes, but let's try to choose like the best part. Kid. I like that. Then you could do as many as you want, really. Kid Fresh. Then we could do like an automated volume fade up on those as well. And you could do like a panning on them too if you wanted. Lower the volume on those stutters a little bit. Maybe do some mod X, mod Y. Kid I like where that's going. Kid Fresh got enough. Let's try a like a left and right panning automation as well. Down is left and up is right. So right now we're not set to any grid, any tempo really right now. So you got to make sure that you're going by sight right here and using the alt key to turn the snap off. So that way you can line them up exactly with these like, little vocal chops right here. And once you get like one left and one right, then you can pretty much just like paste those over to on top of all of these little clips right here. Kid fresh. All the way left and all the way right is too much. Go down a little bit. 
Kid f yeah, that seems to be pretty good. Kid Fresh got another one. I duplicated this main one right here up at the top. I took it down and we're going to make that one unique. I'm thinking I want to make this like a low pitch. Kid, Kid, Fresh. Fresh. Got Kid Fresh got another got another one. Sounds pretty good. Let's go to the pre-computed effects like stereo delay it a little bit. Kid Fresh got another one. Sounds pretty cool. All right, let's line it up with the rest here. Let's turn the volume down on the low pitch. Let's see what that sounds like. Kid Fresh got another one. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. So that's the first one we made, and here's the second one we did. Kid Fresh got another one. That's my favorite one, personally. That's gonna be dope to like throw on any style beat. You can kind of like time stretch it to go on any beat that you want. I think it's got like a little bit of a rhythm to it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's listen to both of these again. Let's turn the volume up on these. Hey mama, that's Kid Fresh. Kid Fresh got another one. Yeah, those sound pretty cool. So I'm going to export those out separately, send them to the producer, see what he thinks about them. And if he has any notes, he's going to send them back and I can make some tweaks here or there. Pretty much. I like the way those two are sounding right now. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, turn those post notifications on if you get me.